always right on time. Stop comparing yourself to others. Trust me, I know it is really hard to avoid any sort of comparison. My best friend and I are complete opposites, but she's also someone that I compare myself a lot to. Physically, we're both very different, but I compare us in ways that are so aren't just physical. I'm directionally challenged. I only have my G1 license, but I'm also a lover of God, music, board games, and the really cheesy Hallmark Channel Christmas movies. And you know what? God made me this way, and I'm okay with it. It was in his plan all along. But my best friend loves Jesus honestly on days more than I do. She has her full driver's license and can definitely tell her lefts from her rights. She loves horror movies, and she can also make vegetarian food taste pretty darn good. We both look different, we act different, and you know why? It's because we are different. We're different people. Neither of us are better than the other person, and we're each uniquely and wonderfully made by our creator. God doesn't want us to copy our best friend or the popular kid at school or the Instagram influencer with a million followers. God wants us to know ourselves and know the gifts that he has given to each of us uniquely. In Romans 12, six to eight, it says, we have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy according to your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it's teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. And if it is to give, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. We are all different people, and therefore we all have different gifts that we can offer. We each need to know and acknowledge that the things that make us unique, the things that make me unique, are my directionally challengedness, my lover of God, music, board games, and the really cheesy Hallmark Christmas movies-ness. Those were intentionally how God made me, how he made me, but he made you different. With all that being said, me just telling you to stop comparing and you doing it is a lot harder to be done than it is for me to just say. Trust me, I'm still working on it. However, slowly but surely, and trust me, it will definitely be slowly, you will stop comparing yourself to others. And at that point, you're left with two people, you and God. You need not be ashamed, for God was there the whole time, and you just needed to stop and listen. It says in Luke 12, 6-7, Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies, yet none of them are forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. He was there standing beside you that whole time saying, you are enough. You are enough. You are enough. And in Isaiah 43.1, it says, but now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. You are worthy of his love. I'm going to say it again. You are worthy of his love. You are worthy of God's love. Jesus used everyone. He used Moses, who had a stutter. He used Mary, who was a teenager, and she was a virgin. Esther was a minority, yet she was chosen to be queen, and Simon Peter was a fisherman, a job that was as common as it is to now be an accountant. Jesus used women, minorities, and outsiders to do his work. And he would give up his life over again if that gave you the chance for salvation. And he wants and is using you to build his kingdom as well. So stop comparing yourself to others. You are exactly 
who you're meant to be. You are enough. Hey God, I pray that whoever listened to this message is moved by the words knowing that they are enough. They are perfectly and wonderfully made in the image of you, God. I pray that every person is lifted up by the message that you have saved them. And you would die over and over again for that salvation which you offered to everybody here. I pray that we all put down our phones, God, and that all the comparisons that are constantly swarming in and out of our heads, I pray that we wait and we listen and I just have that opportunity to be in your presence, God. Thank you for reminding us that we are enough as ourselves for you created us to simply be us. In Jesus' name, amen.